Hi friends! Valentina with Valentina's Corner. And I'm Abigail. Today we are going to be making pretzel dogs. Yes. If you've never made homemade pretzel dogs, they are so much easier than you think and kids love them. So, let's get to it. <laughs> First off, we're gonna make the dough. All right, so we've got all the ingredients we need for the simple basic uh, pretzel, the dough recipe, and this is the same dough that we use for our pretzels. So if you've not given those a try, we're gonna link that because it is such an easy recipe and they're wonderful. So we're gonna take our flour and we, we've already got uh, four cups of flour and we sifted it once we measured it. We're just gonna add that right into our mixer. Now that we have that in there, you need to put one and a half teaspoon salt. Just give it a quick whisk. Once you have that made, you're just gonna wanna create a well in the flour, and this is the easiest way to do it because everything gets mixed together. And we're gonna pour um, one and a half cups of warm water into that well. We're gonna need two and a fourth teaspoons of active dry yeast, one tablespoon sugar, and three tablespoons of melted butter. Hey. Wait, it's not melted. And she's gonna go melt the butter. All right, where's my butter? <laughs> I got you, Mama. Good job. And then you wanna just sprinkle the yeast right over that water and then we'll add the sugar over the yeast and it activates it a lot quicker. And then that sugar right over that, you wanna do it, just sprinkle it. Good job. And then just give it a slight mix, but you want that to stay at the top. All right, and we're gonna give it about three to five minutes until that yeast starts to activate. So while we're waiting for that to activate, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to be notified of future recipes, right? Also, who do you wanna see in the next video? Elizabeth or Nathaniel? Comment Co down below. Comment down below or happy. Yeast is activated, it's nice and foamy. So what we're just gonna do is just turn on our mixer We've got um, a dough hook on and we're just gonna turn that on low and allow it to combine. You don't need to knead it long, you just wanna make sure that that flour is incorporated. All right, now that that's done and the dough looks beautiful, we're just gonna go ahead and transfer it to a bowl. And then a, a tip that we've learned is um, when you're putting dough into a bowl, spray it lightly with baking spray and the dough comes right out and doesn't stick. So we've got that sprayed. All right, looks amazing. You have to try this recipe for this dough. You wanna keep that in a warm area and rise for an hour. You know what that means? It's right time! <laughs> we'll see you when the dough's risen. Well, I took a good nap. And I had coffee. All right, so our dough is nice and beautiful, and we are gonna go ahead and shape it and continue with the recipe. Our girlfriend, hey, how about I do this? Matches your um, outfit. <laughs> no? And you just want to lightly uh, flour your surface. Ab, do you want to grab this? Flip yes. it over? Go ahead, flip it over really fast. One, two, three! Yeah! Get this out of our way so we have room to work with. All right, girl, get your sleeves up. We're about to have Messy. fun. And now we're gonna divide this dough into 12 equal parts. And then the easiest way to do it is just divide this in half. Then this part in half. And then each quarter into three. 
okay? And then all you're gonna do is take one of the parts and roll it out on your surface. We'll move this aside. And you're gonna roll it out into about an 18 inch rope. This so dough is so wonderful. It's so easy to work with. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. And you do want to make sure that it's nice and thin because you're going to wrap that around the hot dogs. So you want to have that nice and beautiful layer when you're um, rolling your hot dogs. So make sure it's about 16 to 18 inches. Mama, do you think this is 18 inches? I don't think so. This might be 18 inches. I don't know. I got you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hold it, please? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, look at that. A little more. I have to go a little farther. There you go. 18. <laughs> Woohoo! So this is about now 18. Now my turn. This is definitely not 18. <laughs> <laughs> eight. That's like eight. <laughs> Keep rolling, girl. Keep rolling. <laughs> That's gonna be her hot dog. Her, her pretzel dog. Yeah, it's gonna be my hot dog. This is something that you really need, guys. When making just... pretzel dogs. <laughs> so when you're stretching out this dough, you wanna go from the center and just kinda work your way out. It's easier to do it that way, just from the center and work your way out. So it's nice and thin. And then just fix up those edges so it's um, the same size all the way around. Now that we have all of these rolled out, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these around our hot dogs. Wait, 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 Mama! I need to check if you're if you did it good enough and you're a real chef. All right, inspect my sizes. Hold it, please. Yeah. Yes, I passed. Yes. All right, passed first one. one passes. That's actually 19, <laughs> so you can be this small. <laughs> All right, I'll make that one smaller. Keep going, keep going, Inspector. <laughs> and the sizes don't exactly be have to be 18. About 16 to 18 is good. Now we have these all wrapped. Let's go water bathe them and then bake and we're ready to eat. Let's go. In a Dutch oven or a large pot, bring eight cups of water to a boil. Add one third cup baking soda and stir. Add about three to four pretzel dogs at a time into the water bath for about 30 seconds. With a strainer spatula, remove the pretzel dogs and then add them to the prepared baking sheet. Top with coarse salt if desired. Bake the pretzel dogs in a preheated oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 14 to 16 minutes or until crispy and golden. These pretzel dogs have the best dough. Once baked, the dough is crispy on the outside yet chewy and combined with the hot dog, that perfect treat the whole family will love. And now for the best part, the taste test. Mama, you're gonna try it without me? No, of course not. <laughs> All right, Abby, how about you taste first? You like ketchup? Mm-hmm. 
Those are so good. They are so good, right? Mmm, that was so good, right? Yes. Well, I guess she likes it. Thank you so much for joining Abby and I as together we made these homemade pretzel dogs. Don't feel intimidated by the recipe. It is so much easier than you think. We'll see you next time when together we'll make something delicious again. Bye. So first things first. What do we do first? Then whatever that's called eating mm -hmm. better. We have to take it and then I can't. I mean. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the middle, just keep going. See, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can give me a good laugh. Yeah, you do a good job, Abby. Yeah, and just keep spreading it. There you go. Yeah.